Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Blessed a down son of David. Blessed a down root of Jason. Blessed a thou son of David. Oh, blessed are thou, blessed are thou, root of Jesse. Oh, oh, I have a shot. You are glorious, me, immaculately wonderful. I can go on and on, on and on. Ah, But my words are not enough. My vocabulary will fail me. Permit me to cry out. Iba oh, Iba oh, Iba. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the house. Happy Mother's Day, Mrs. Little. Happy Mother's Day to everyone that is joining. Happy Mother's Day to you. Blessed a down son of David. Ooh, blessed a down. Blessed a down root of Jesse. You are effortlessly glorious, immaculately beautiful. I can go on and on. On and on, Ekabashataya. But my words are not enough. My vocabulary is there, always fail me. But permit me to cry out, Iba oh, Iba oh, Iba, Iba oh, Iba, Iba oh. Iba kaya bashaya, iba o iba, iba o iba, iba o iba. I just love you, Jesus. Iba o iba, root of Jesse. Iba o iba, iba o. Hallelujah. God bless everyone joining today. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am excited to have each and every one of you here today. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining. God bless you. As you come in, please touch the like button, share the live broadcast, invite someone to join us. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your presence in this live session. I pray, Lord, that you take control and take charge. Have dominion over this live session. Come and take full control. Come and have preeminence. Guide us to lead according to the path you have for us. We make demands for your power. We make demands for the manifestation of your mercy and of your grace in the life of someone that is watching in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 God says, God says, He in this season, He is in the business 
of full restoration. God says in, in this business, is in the business of full restoration. What is God restoring? He is restoring lost opportunities. He is restoring wasted times. He is restoring lost seasons, lost opportunities, wasted time, lost seasons. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There are people on um, as God. God is not unjust. There is no one that comes on the earth and God leaves you without anything. God is always going to give you something. You are always going to have an opportunity to make your life better. Always. Maybe you had it in the past or it is still to come. God always gives you an opportunity to make your life better. God always but the problem is, is that some, some people miss their opportunities. You miss your opportunities. You miss your timing. You miss opportunities that were supposed to change your life. I have spoken to people who had life changing opportunities, but they missed it because of one thing or the other. They have missed so many opportunities. The Bible tells us about the parable of the talents. He's, it says there was a master who was supposed to go on a long journey. He called his, his servants and began to give them talents according to their abilities. He gave to one five talents. He gave to one two talents. He gave to one another one one talent. These are all opportunities that God gives us. These are all opportunities. Of course, we do not have the same opportunities because our destinies are different. Our lives are different. Our paths are different. But God always gives each and every one of us opportunities. He always gives you an opportunity to make your life better. He always gives you one opportunity. I mean, if you are watching me right now, you can bear with me. If you are above 30, if you are above 30, you can bear with me that God has given you several opportunities in life at least two opportunities to make your life better some of some of some of us made um, um, use of those opportunities and some of us did not and that is the reason why we are where we are at right now some of us make use of the opportunities God gave us. There was a time there was a golden opportunity that, that came your way. But because you were not proactive, because you were lazy, because you started overthinking it, because you thought they would always come, you let go of that opportunity and you missed it. God always gives us opportunities. Always. He will not create you and just let you double your way through life. God did not create you to just let you double your way through life. No, he always gives you an opportunity. Always, always. John chapter 9 verse 4, it says, We must walk the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can work. It means you have and there is a time where you have an opportunity to do something because after that time you may never have another opportunity after that time the night is coming where you may never have another opportunity but god says to somebody by mercy by mercy by mercy, he is giving you another opportunity. You might have lost that opportunity. You might have lost a golden opportunity to turn your life around. As I was just reading this passage right now, God said to me, he is giving to someone another opportunity. Yes, you are in the night of your life. But the Bible says, is it in the book of, I don't, in the book of Isaiah? I don't know where exactly right now. I can't place my finger. He says, your night will be as bright as day. Your moon will be as bright as the sun. You are in the night season of your life because you have lost so many opportunities. You are in the night season of your life, but God says by mercy, he will make your night as bright as day. He will make your moon as bright as the sun. As you are connected, I pray for you, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. God is restoring to you the opportunities you have lost. God is restoring the opportunities opportunities you have lost. He will make your night as bright as day. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the 
mighty name of Jesus. <coughs> 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 Excuse me. He will make your night as bright as day in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says you must make the a use of the opportunities while it is day because the night cometh when you cannot work. The Bible says in the book of Psalms that you shall be like a tree that bears fruit even in, in, in old age. Even in old age, I pray for you. This prayer is for people who have lost opportunities. You say, woman of God, I had an opportunity to invest into a business. I did not do it. And right now I am suffering. There was a particular trend that was working. God brought it my part, but I did not make use of it. I lost, I, I have lost so many opportunities and I am not sure. I am not sure that I'm going to have them again. God by mercy is bringing bringing these opportunities back to you in the name of Jesus. Allah, mama, mama, ah, yes. Oh, someone says, I had an opportunity for a new permanent job. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that God by his mercy, God by his mercy will give you another opportunity. God by his mercy will give you another opportunity. God by his mercy will give you another opportunity in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm and Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15 to 16 says, Therefore be careful how you walk, not on wise men, not as on wise men, but as wise men making the most of your time because the days are evil. I pray for you that is watching me. God by your mercy. God, by your mercy, I pray for a new opportunity. Someone that is watching me, no matter where they are, oh God, I pray. Give them a new opportunity to turn their lives around. Give them a new opportunity to scale their life to another level. By your mercy, oh God. I pray that you begin to restore lost opportunities to them. Lost opportunities to them. You are a God of restoration. You are a God of restoration. I pray, oh God, restore lost opportunities. Restore lost opportunities. Restore lost opportunities. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody you are watching me here, you heard about an opportunity. And you saw people going into it. But you were overthinking. You were procrastinating. You kept on procrastinating. And by the time you wanted to get into it, it was already late. By the time you wanted to do it, it was already late. I pray for you, God, by his mercy. God, by his mercy, mercy will restore to you lost opportunities. God, by his mercy, will restore to you lost opportunities. God, by his mercy, will restore to you lost opportunities. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus, Elama Shaya Kadabahai, Rekede Bosia Dabahai, Maladabas. I pray for you, God, by His mercy, by His mercy, by His mercy, by His mercy, Malako Sia Dabaha. Let lost opportunities begin to be restored to you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. La kala baba babo siya da dabahaya. Re katala baba babo samai da bahanda. In Jesus mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. God says. He says. He will restore wasted times. Wasted years. 
wasted years. I began the live session by telling us God is in the business of full restoration. He wants to restore lost opportunities in this season. He wants to restore wasted times. Wasted times. Wasted times. There are people who come into your life just to waste your time. There are people who come into your life just to waste your time. You are in a relationship with them one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, and they end up breaking up with you. They have wasted five years of your life. They have wasted one year of your life. They have wasted two, three. They have just wasted your time. They were like a sat they were like satanic agents sent into your life to waste your time. You have invested time into the relationship. You have invested resources into the relationship, and at the end of the day, they just leave you like that. They just leave you hanging. They were just sent to waste your time. The devil strate strategically positioned them into your life to waste your time. And the relationship was so toxic that maybe there were times you wanted to leave. They will come back and beg you. Before you know it, you, you are still in that same relationship. It is not going ahead. It is not going behind. But you are just there. You feel like you can't leave that relationship. Those are time wasters. Time wasters. I have two prayers to pray for you. Number one, if you are still in a relationship with that person, you are in a relationship with someone, they are not ready to take the relationship to another level and they don't want to let you go. They are just wasting your time. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that God will scatter that relationship. I know it might hurt you, but this is a good prayer. You have to connect to this prayer because these people are just wasting your time. And like you know, time waits for nobody. Time waits for nobody. Time that has been wasted can hardly be gotten. Time that has been wasted. And as a matter of fact, the most important of your resources are, is your time. The most important of your, of your resource is your time. Any time you have wasted, you can never have it. I pray if you are still in a relationship right now with a time waster, I pray that God by his power, let that relationship be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that relationship be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that relationship be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you are in a relationship with a counterfeit. They look like the real deal, but they are not it. They are just wasting your time. Time is passing and nothing is happening. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will break that relationship. God will break that relationship in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come against every time waster in your life. I come against every time waster in your life. I come against every time waster in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, agree and connect yourself. Agree and connect yourself. God is delivering you from every counterfeit. They are just there to waste your time and to blind your eyes from potentials. There are other people who would have gotten into your life if you were single by now, but you cannot let them in because you think you are in a relationship. I pray, may God expose every counterfeit and may God deliver you from them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let God expose every counterfeit in your life and let he deliver you from them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I begin to break every ungodly soul tie. Every ungodly soul tie. I break it by the blood of Jesus. 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 La cosiada da bashaya. Mande de de bo siada da bahanda. Rekodo do do bo satata da baha. I come against every time we start in your life. Every counterfeit. I pray that God will expose them and that God will deliver you from such relationships in the name of Jesus. May God expose every counterfeit in your life. I pray 
for you. God will expose every counterfeit in your life and he will deliver you from them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And time wasters are not just people. Sometimes time wasters are projects. There is a project you embark on and that project was never meant to go anywhere. The project is just there to waste your time, waste your days, waste your life. You are in a project investing everything you have in it. But there is no future for that project. The project is just a time waster. There are some people you have embarked on some projects. Maybe you have just you are writing a book. Maybe you are building something. You are researching on something. It is taking all of your time, but those projects are not meant to go anywhere. Those projects are just there to waste your time. Alana Shataya, you are in a kind of business. You are putting in your all in that business. But the business is not yielding and it will not yield in the future. You are hopeful, believing God that that business will yield, believing God that that project is going to yield someday. But it is not, it, will, it is not yielding right now, it will not yield even in the future. It is just wasting your time. <laughs> I pray that God will deliver you from such projects in the name of Jesus. God will deliver you from such projects in the name of Jesus. God will deliver you from such projects in the name of Jesus. God will deliver you from every project that is not meant to heal. Yield. God will deliver you from every project that is not meant to yield. Every project that is not meant meant to yield every business that is not going anywhere i pray for you god will deliver you from them in the name of jesus i am a mama mama shataya kata I see the confirmations. I pray, I pray in the name of Jesus. God will deliver you from every of such projects. You will not waste your time on useless projects. You will not waste your time on useless things that are going nowhere. Alana Saya, every project that the devil brought your way to waste your time. Yes, satanic projects. The devil just brought them your way to waste your time. I pray that God will deliver you from them in the name of Jesus. Elohim will deliver you from those projects in the mighty name of Jesus. God will deliver you from them in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I come against time wasters in your life. Be it in human form, be it in the form of projects. Be it in human form, be it in the form of projects. Everything that was assigned by the devil into your life to waste your time, I come against it. May God expose and deliver you from them in the name of Jesus. May God expose them and deliver you from them in the name of Jesus. As you listen to me and as you connect yourself, God is delivering you from every form of counterfeit, every form of time-wasting project, every form of time-wasting business. In the mighty name of Jesus, the devil will do all of this to steal your time because he knows your time is what you can never get back. Once you have lost that time, you can never get it. God will deliver you from them. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will deliver you from them. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the last thing God wants to restore to us in this season is lost seasons. Lost seasons. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. Lost seasons. <clears throat> Kaya Baba Bashatai. I keep feeling like I want to choke. I know it's an attack from the devil. Because the devil is being exposed. The devil is being exposed. Lost seasons. The earth operates in seasons. 
the earth operates in seasons, in seasons. That is why the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, there is a time to do this, there is a time to do that. These are seasons. These are seasons. As the earth, as the, as the earth operates, as, as, as long as you live, times and seasons will not fail. There are always seasons for particular things. There are always seasons for particular things. If you miss the season to get married, you need the grace of God. Though. If you miss your season, there is a season in the life of every woman where you have so many suitors coming. You have so many suitors. If God does not lead you to pick one of them at that time and marry, and that season passes you by, you will need the grace of God and this special prayer we want to pray now for that season to be restored. For that season to be restored. There is a season in your life when you have so many opportunities coming your way. If you miss it, if you miss it, you will need the grace of God and this special prayer we are about to pray now for the restoration of such, such seasons. Once a season passes you by, you will need the grace of God. You will need the grace of God. There is a season when finances come into your hands easily. There is a season when, I mean, finances just come into your hands. If you are not able to maximize those resources, <laughs> the king of Egypt had a dream. He saw seven years of plenty and seven years of drought. <clears throat> In everyone's life, there is a seven years of plenty and seven years of drought. It might not actually be seven in number, but there is, a, there is a time when you have plenty and there is a time when you do not. If in the season when you have plenty, you are not able to maximize that opportunity, you will need the grace of God and this prayer we are about to pray right now to be able to have such seasons again. Akapashena makaida. Helabababo satana maha. There is a season in your life when you're supposed to do something. When you miss that season, you will need the grace of God. You will need the grace of God. But we thank God for grace. We thank God because his grace is available. He says, and I will restore to you in the book of Joel chapter 2. I will restore to you the years the palm worm and the canker worm had eaten. We serve a God of restoration. Because God knows that us as human beings, we do miss out on certain things. And by the manipulation of the devil, we miss out on so many blessings that God had intended for us. He says, I will restore to you the years the canker worm and the palm worm had eaten. The locusts. I will restore restore to you. I will restore to you. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Whatever opportunity you had lost, let God begin to restore in the name of Jesus. Let God begin to restore in the name of Jesus. Every time you had lost, I pray that God will begin to restore in the name of Jesus. Every lost seasons, seasons that came your way and you were not able to maximize it. Rekapalataya. I pray that God by his mercy, God by his mercy will restore to you such seasons again. I pray that you will walk in plenty again. I pray that you are God by his mercy will bless you with a worthy kingdom partner even though you had already missed out on that season. God by his mercy will bless you with a worthy kingdom partner in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God by his mercy will restore to you lost seasons. God by his mercy will restore to you lost seasons. God by his mercy will restore to you lost seasons. In the mighty name of Jesus, every opportunity you had lost, every opportunity you had lost, every season of plenty you had lost, you were not able to make use of the, of the years of abundance. 
and now you are in drought I pray in the name of Jesus let God begin to restore God by his mercy let him begin to restore you let God by his mercy begin to restore in the name of Jesus let God by his mercy begin to restore let God by his mercy begin to restore in the mighty name of Jesus let God by his mercy begin to restore let God by his mercy begin to restore in the mighty name of Jesus yes God will bless you again with a worthy kingdom partner even though you had lost your opportunity God by his mercy will restore it will restore to you he will restore financial opportunities to you again. He will restore financial opportunities to you again. He will restore your kingdom partner in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody go ahead and begin to thank the Lord for restoration. Say, Lord, I thank you for restoration. Say, Lord, I thank you for restoration. Thank you, O oh Lord. Come on, somebody. He says in this season, he is in the business of restoring. In this season, he is in the business of restoring. He says he is He's in the business of restoring lost opportunities, wasted time, and missed seasons. You missed your seasons. God is here to restore. Nothing missing, nothing broken. God wants to bring you to a point where nothing is missing and nothing is broken in your life. God wants to bring you to a point where nothing is missing, nothing is broken. He is restoring lost opportunities. He is restoring wasted times. He is restoring missed seasons. You missed your season, but God is restoring it to you in the name of Jesus. He is bringing you to a state where nothing is missing and nothing is broken. He is bringing you to a season he is bringing you to a season of your life where nothing is missing, nothing is broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, come on somebody, say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for restoration. Lord, I thank you for restoration. Lord, I thank you for restoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for restoration. Alama Shataya, nothing missing, nothing broken. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Nothing missing, nothing broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Thank you, Lord, for full restoration. Thank you, Lord, for full restoration. Thank you, Lord, for full restoration. Nothing missing, nothing broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Father, we thank you for this is the confidence we have that when we call upon you in prayers, you answer us. Thank you, Lord, for answering one more time. Thank you, Jesus, for answer prayers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Right now, I'm going to give you an opportunity. If you are led in your spirit, you want to give an offering, you want to give a donation, you want to plant a connection seed into the prayers, into the prophetic words that have been released, I give you an opportunity right now. If you want to pay your tithes, I give you an opportunity right now. If you want to use PayPal, Cash App, Mobile Money, the information has been pinned on your screen. If you want to use the live stream, you can still go ahead. Whatever means is most convenient for you. Hallelujah. Let's just use um, one minute to do that. Let's just use one minute. If this is the first time you are joining, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for joining. Please check to see if you're already subscribed to this channel. If not, kindly go ahead and touch that subscribe button. And please do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that each time we are live praying or there is a release of a prophetic word, you are not going to miss out. Hallelujah. Please touch the like button. Share this live broadcast. If these prayers have blessed you, it can bless someone else. Do not be selfish. Please go ahead and share it. 
Share it on your timeline. Share it on your status. Share it on email. Share it, share it, share it, share it, share it. And happy Mother's Day to everyone. Happy Mother's Day to you all. Especially if you're in the U.S., happy Mother's Day to you. God bless you and God keep you. God bless you and he, may he bless you and may he keep you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> Let's pray for the offerings. Somebody says, Amen. This is truth spoken and it's my confirmation of my restoration. Thank you for your obedience and may God continue to strengthen and use you mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's pray for the offerings. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people. Thank you, Lord, for everyone that has given an offering, a donation, a connection seed. I pray that you bless it in the name of Jesus. Everyone connecting on PayPal and on Cash App, I pray, oh God, that you honor their giving. Those who are connecting to the prophetic prayers, I pray that you bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. Honor their offerings, oh God, just like you honor that of your servant Cornelius. Oh, Father, I pray for restoration. Yes, those who are planting seeds, connecting to restoration of lost opportunities. I connect you to your seed. May God honor your giving and let every lost opportunity be brought back to you in the name of Jesus. Those who are planting seeds, connecting to God, exposing the counterfeit. I connect you to your seed. May God answer you and expose every counterfeit in your life, counterfeit projects, counterfeit partners. I pray that God will expose them in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are connecting against missed seasons, I pray that God by his mercy is going to restore every season you have missed in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are connecting to nothing broken, nothing missing, I connect you to your seed in the name of Jesus that God will give you full restoration. Nothing missing, nothing broken in the mighty name of Jesus. God will give you full restoration. Nothing missing, nothing broken in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Those who have paid their tithes, God bless your tithes in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God will rebuke the devourer over your income and that he will open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that your bonds will not be able to contain. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God is giving you full restoration. Oh, thank you for that confirmation. God is giving you full restoration. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. Nothing missing. Nothing broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Yes, those who are still connecting to planting seeds for restoration, I connect you to your seed. May God honor your giving. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Full restoration in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, glory to God. Let's take our daily declarations together. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits in Jesus' mighty name. Those who are still planting connection seeds, connecting to the prophetic prayers, I connect you to your seed. May God honor your giving in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for full restoration. Full restoration. Full restoration. Full restoration in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Amen. Everyone pouring out blessings on me. Amen. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord, for full restoration. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Full restoration is coming for someone. God says it. I believe it for you. And as you connect, it is happening to you. Full restoration in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you, family. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you to everyone for turning out for prayers. Thank you to everyone. I pray that indeed, I pray that indeed, may you experience full restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I love you. I will see you in our happy Mother's Day again to everyone. Happy Mother's Day. I love you. I will see you in our next live session as God gives me grace. Shalom, everyone. Bye-bye.